Hello, good morning, good noon, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to God the Bear Show. And today we'll have a full review of the famous entry grade RX 78 2 Gundam from the very first Gundam series, Kirio Senshi Gundam. Let's go! This kit contains four runners, but Every runners can be separated into two, so totally we will have eight runners all in all. And the most amazing part of this kit is that it doesn't have any foil stickers for color correction. Here is the manual of the kit. It's a typical HG instruction manual, but the instructions were very, very simple. We don't even need to use a side cutter and hobby knife to get this out on the runners. But for my case, I use tools to cleaning this build and to make this an awesome kit. The final look of this kit was very nice and amusing. The engineering on each part was very magnificent and obviously planned well. Proportions was on the spot, but I just observed that the RX-78-2 got a little bit slimmer on its ways. Color accuracy was very accurate also, though there are really some parts that still needs a little bit of painting. Like the knee part which needs a gray paint on a black metallic paint and then the scope on its rifle also needs a yellow paint for it then next is the panel line opportunity there's no much panel line opportunity for this kit but it is still advisable to put some panel line to pop out those details especially on its face and head part the vents on the head was painted in black by a Gundam marker for panel line. Then at the back of the head, which is the back sensors, was painted in Arkham Red. Even this kit doesn't need a sticker for color correction, it still need an additional effort to complete the details of the kit. Knob marks were very minimal because of its design on the runners, but you can avoid it if you will use some side cutters and have a knife. Even it is stated that it doesn't need tools, but using tools can really help you to cleanly build this kit. Now let's have its articulation. Okay, so here is the Integrate RX-78-2 and let's have the articulation. Let's have first at the head, which the head can go up and it's a very large distance. Then it can go down, go left and right also. Tilt left and right and yeah, it can go 360 just like that. And then let's have now the shoulders which can rotate 360 also. Then its arms can go shoulder level but you can extend that more upward. As you can see that's the articulation of the RX-78-2 Gundam in entry grade. Very awesome kit. And then next we'll have its elbow joint. And yeah, it doesn't have a full bend on the joint because of the design of the arms as you can see there and now let's have the wrist yeah it can tilt up and down then it can also go rotate and next is here on your ways uh, yeah it can move but i think you can go 360 if you want to but yeah that's as you can see the center part of the back skirt can block the movement of the waist right there so that you can go 360 for that now let's bend those arms because we'll have another articulation right here and that's the ab crunch and yeah that's the ab crunch of the entry grade but there is a hollow part at the back uh because i will show you the ball joints right there as you can see it has that mechanis mechanism and yeah it's very wise but you can really see a hollow part of the joint then it can also have a movement or articulation backwards a little bit and then let's go to the skirts the movement of the side skirts a little bit up and yeah down and uh, side to side and it can go rotate in 360 which very nice and now let's go to the uh front skirts yeah i will bend a little bit the waist right there or the ab now you can move a little bit of those front skirts but yes 
uh, there's a hindrance on the waist part. Uh, yeah, you can totally move it, but there's a little bit blocking of the waist part of the front skirts, okay? Okay, next is the legs right here, and it can go up like that. Then bend those knees, and having those double-jointed knee, and yeah. And then next is the feet right there. It can move up and down and have the little bit space on that part of the feet. Then we have that a little bit tilting of the feet right there. Yeah, okay. So that's the movement of the feet of your RX-78-2 Gundam. And let's go at the back part, which is that is the beam saber. Yeah, but unfortunately, we don't have a beam saber effect for that. And it can be detached also. Maybe we can use some uh, beam saber effects on other kits if there is. Okay. And next, we have here your rifle, which you can put that rifle easily slot it in like that on the hands of your RX-8 attached to Gundam and we have here the shield which you can also attach at the back of the Gundam on its backpack and then you can also attach it on the forehand of your Gundam and you also have that connection which the shield can be also held by the hands of the Gundam and yeah a little bit hard and not so yeah you can just slide that slot right there and that is the articulation of RX-78-2 Gundam here are the accessories of the entry grade RX-78-2 Gundam now let's have first the beam rifle it is the usual beam rifle of the original Gundam it shoots a powerful beam that can destroy a grand suits like the Zaku. It has a movable scope to adjust the scoping ability of the unit. The rifle has a lot of panel line opportunity that needs to be applied in it to pop out those slick details and paint the scope into yellow for its really yellow color on the very first Gundam anime series. Next is the shield. It is also the usual shield of the RX-78-2 Gundam. It has this very nice yellow cross accent that was also separated part. I just applied some black panel line on the two circular parts on the shield and also panel line on its sides. Now look at this short comparison of the entry grade from the different versions of the RX-78-2 we have here the Beyond Global RX-78-2 and also one of my oldest RX-78-2 version which is it, this is not a revive okay this is the I think it's the 1997 RX-78-2 so that's the comparison this kit was really awesome and a very smart move for Bandai articulations were very great it has a wide range of motions you can really make different poses that other kids can't do those shoulder articulations that can reach until near to the head and yeah it sets to its limits then those very articulated waist was so amazing also which have those up crunch is very phenomenal even you can see some hollow parts at the back but it's okay it's very articulated that you can make more poses in it the knee has also that great double joint and the ankle is also very movable and very amusing which it can move everywhere I really enjoy building this kit it gives me a nostalgic vibes with a modern feeling too I commend Bandai for making this kit. This is a revolution and a showcase of evolution for Gunpla. Not using of tools is just an option, but I recommend you to use one to cleanly build this kit. But in the end, as usual, it still depends on you as a builder on how you will interpret or improve this kit at its best. That's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoy building this kit and I hope you too and when the time that you will have this kit on your own. Build it, enjoy it, 
it's very nice. Okay, so that's it for now, guys. And if you like and if you enjoy this video, please do consider to like, share, comment, subscribe, and please hit that notification bell so you'll be informed for my next videos, more toys, gun plus reviews and yeah more unboxing and speed build also okay so that's it for now guys thank you so much i hope you watch more of my gunbla vids right here on my channel that's it and good morning good noon good afternoon good evening and good night jake de Lopez signing off gunbla show signing off bye enjoy the integrate and yeah there's more integrate coming Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.